Hello. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to identify the functional groups in this compound. The first functional group I have here is this one on my left. That is called an aldehyde. Aldehyde would have a carbonyl group, which is C double bond O, connected to at least one hydrogen. Okay, so it can connect to any arrow group. Arrow groups are known to be carbon chain. Okay, so any carbon chain, but there must be at least one hydrogen. That's what tells you have an aldehyde. We also have a functional group that looks like aldehyde. This one right here. This is called a ketone. The difference between a ketone and an aldehyde is that ketones is going to have a carbonyl group connected to two different arrow groups. Now, arrow groups, remember I said arrow is a carbon chain. So it's going to be connected to two carbon chains, unlike the aldehyde that is connected to at least one hydrogen. Okay? So we have those two identified. The next one is this one right here. This is known as an alkene. All right? Why this one is an eta. So whenever you have a double bond like that, a C to C double bond, that is an alkene, and an oxygen connected to two different carbons, single bonded to two different carbon chain, is known to be an ether. So if we move on, the one I have right here is known as an amide. Now, before I explain this, this one right here is known as amine. So when a carbonyl group, which is a C double bond O, is connected to an amine, we call that group an amide. So this is an amine and this is an amide. Okay. Now, if we move on, the one right beside the amide, this one right here, is known as an ester. Now, what's the difference between an ester and an eta? Eta is oxygen single bonded to two different carbons, while an ester would have a double bond O, which is a carbonyl group connected to an eta. You see, this eta, when a carbonyl group is connected to an eta, we say it is ester. Okay? If we move on to the next one, this one right here, OH is known as hydroxyl group. All alcohols will have OH attached to them. All right? Now, the one that you see right here, it's called thiol. This one with a triple bond, whenever you see a carbon-carbon triple bond, it's called an alkyne. An alkyne. And then the last one on my right, right here, carboxyl group. Or you can just say carboxylic acid, okay? So these are some of the functional groups, not all of them. But I hope this video has helped you to understand how you can identify some functional groups. Thank you for watching and do have a wonderful day. Bye.